you haven't had to. exactly like a, a traditional post fight. Yeah. And I want I want to talk about this. This like, new one, bro. Like, you might be the king of petty. Like, I'm like, the best. I'm the you, best. You have been on some shit after that knockout. <laughs> like every time I saw Michael Jordan's right here. <laughs> And I think I'm just over here. Or maybe even like a notch above. I don't want to say shout out to Mike, but like I think I I like to believe I'm petty. Trust me, I will hold a, a grudge on some, some people. I can let go of some things. Some things I've let go of in life. Like the first time he beat me, he knocked me out. Oh, no, the second time he beat me, he locked me out. I let go of that. I wasn't like, I'm going to get that back. I need to get that back. I was just like, you know what? That's life. And I left kickboxing because the promotion I was working for stopped giving me fights. So I let go of that. But... What his kid did to me after that fight, it irked me the wrong way. And I didn't really hold on to it, but it was sitting there. You know, it was just in the archives. And then when the time came, I was like, oh, let me go through the files. And, oh, that's right. That's the way he did that shit. Every day for weeks, every <laughs> GIF, every edit, every yeah. Fortnite edit. Every time I saw an Izzy post, I was I like, this is going to be worse yeah. than the one before it. Okay, yeah. question. There's a method if, to my madness, though. I want to hear it. So you have to realize, strike while the iron is hot, you know? Um, you know, uh, say, example, Puma or whoever else, want uh, someone new want to jump on the, on the scene, jump on the style bender train, what they want to do, they're going to ask, what's your numbers? What's your insights? So uh, when, like, this is trending, Run it, I, run it up. Run it, yeah. run it up, run it up. So people think, oh, he's just posting to be petty. I'm like, yeah, a little bit, but I'm running the numbers up. And I run the numbers up, the money goes up. So now I have to already ask for my insights. Oh, I need your insights for the last two months or for the last this. Boom. Off, off, the, off, the, off the charts. Yeah. And I've got people making so much fire shit. Shout out to everyone who's making edits. The edits. Oh, they're insane. The, wow. Four, the I got, cartoon I'm not edits. even done. I'm not edits. done. There's still some more. You got more? <laughs> It's not on me. It's the internet. The but, internet's undefeated. It's, it's what it is. But Izzy, question. So yeah. going into 287, you yeah. have this vendetta because yeah. of how he acted post the last fight and more so because of how his son acted post yeah. fight. On, on this the is last New York. Run, yep. Yep. Right. So question, uh, if there ever was a, a per, another Pereira fight, do you worry at all about how he's going to feel about how you acted post 287? No. I saw, his, I saw him in the airport. If you had a problem with me, he'll tell me right there. You looked pissed though. I'll be honest. He like made, he, off? he made a video and I wasn't sure if, if you were yeah. I was with him. I'm in up a little bit. I mean, like, I, it's funny. The storyline's funny that he's always chasing me, you know? It is funny. So that's why I was just like, when he, when he made his video and he turned the camera to me, I was like, oh, fuck him. <laughs> so I kind of hammered up a little bit. But then afterwards, we talked, went through security, took our shoes off, and then we're waiting for our bags to come through the belt. And then talked about... You know, I was like, Jan next, yeah? Because he fought a guy that first MMA lost for me when I went up to 205. Right. And then we talked about, he kind of has the same idea. Like, we pretty much through our limited uh, conversation skills because of his English yeah. um, and my Portuguese, we kind of have the same idea of what's going to happen. But I had to let him know. I thought the same thing when I fought Jan. I thought Jan was going to attack me a little bit more, but he was patient. Mm. So I kind of let him know, just you be patient too. In more so words, I didn't want to say too much, but yeah, I feel like if yeah he can knock him out, he can knock out Jan badly because I hurt Jan, I hurt Jan really bad, and that's why Jan decided like oh, in the forefront, I'm gonna take him down. Mm. Did, he went for the takedown. Mm. Did that Pereira fight go as you had strategized it to go? And the and, last one, yeah. And when did you? And when did you have the realization? Uh, about what was going to be the outcome based on his hands dropping, based on all that stuff. Like, what round was it that you made that realization? In my head, I had probably five, four different ways that it was going to end. Um, there was no submissions, unfortunately. It was all knockouts, you know? But when I was going, like, okay, look, I've, I've said this before. The, the I feel the shower is the most honest place in the world. I go in the shower and I use it as a tool. That's why... I'm waiting for my pa my palace to get built because I've got a shower that's like I can do laps in because yeah. I need it to be like a simulation chamber, like a hyperbolic time chamber. You're in there with the element of water runneth over you. You're naked and you can think and do whatever you want in there. So when I'm in the shower, I run through simulations and I go through the press conference sometimes. I go through when Bruce Buffer is announcing my name. I don't mean to. It's like it's like Tourette's. It's just visualizing. If you if you visualize a lot and you're able to like when you visual example, to answer your question, I didn't really have an answer, but like I just knew 
I was going to finish him. And I knew I was going to knock him out. I, that's the only way I put it on myself. I put that pressure on myself. Like, I have to knock this guy out. I have to, if I decision him, it's not the same. I have to finish this guy. Because I knew I can. Every time I fight him, the first time I thought I won, everyone thought I won. Second time, I was winning until he caught me in the end. Spectacular story for him. Third time in New York, okay, I'm, I'm meant to get revenge. I'm winning, dominating. And then he catches me again in the end. I'm just like, fuck. And I'm like, I know I'm better than this guy. Bro, if, if he fights me five more times and he beats me five times, I don't care. I just have to show I beat I can beat him. That's all. So it was 3-1. I'm like, yeah, I don't keep score. I settle them. And I mean that shit. It's not about keeping score. It's about settling the score. And I just knew. I just wanted to prove, fuck everyone else. But to myself, I can beat this guy. I knew I can beat him. But I just wanted to prove to myself I can beat this guy. Did it feel like you were about to climb Mount Everest? Because I, 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 yeah, I had guys bit. when I wrestled, obviously yeah. way less competitive, but like my goal relevant. was it's to be relevant. a state champ. That's all relevant. I cared about at, at the time. Yeah. And there were a couple guys I just could not beat, dude. Yeah. And when I had to wrestle them, it it rattled me a little bit beforehand. I, I just, I felt like you I can't could. can't let it. I, I tried to beat these guys, but you I just couldn't. It. Even Eugene said it best. He said, we weren't going into this mindset of like, oh, we've lost to this guy. Oh, three times. Now we have to go a fourth time. It wasn't that. It was more like, We've we can beat this. We're beating this guy until we just either lose focus or something goes off at the last bit, mm -hmm. and then he gets us. So that's the mindset we went in with. And I just knew I can beat this guy. I knew in my heart I can beat this guy. So I had to. I did it in the simulation. I made it happen in the simulation, and I just knew every time as well. When I when I when I visualize, I go deep. I feel like not an out of body experience, but I feel like I am. I can feel the moment. I can feel the energy. I can hear the crowd. I can, I can, I can smell the the the. I don't know what the, it's palpable. You yeah. know, the yeah. feeling that is palpable. Shower, that shower yeah. mindset. Yeah, yeah. That shower yeah mindset. exactly. Yeah. I say this as well. My post fight showers are a thing for those who know. If you know, you know. Post fight showers is where I go in there and also kind of just have gratitude. Same thing. You're in the matrix. The element of water is running over you, and you just kind of like, thank you, mm. thank you. Okay, we got this done, and just reflect of what just happened. It took a while before I had my post fight shower after this last one. Tootsies, you know what Tootsies is? Of course. Yeah. Wait, <laughs> second floor Tootsies Shout getting to shoulder rubs? Yeah, we are. Bro, bro. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> no, I, hey guys, if you like that clip, hit the subscribe button. And if you want to see more zany clips, click the video right here. <laughs>